John Morant and Zion Williamson each put on impressive shows over the weekend against the Lakers. On Saturday, John ja not only led the Grizzlies to a 17-point win, but he also dropped 27 points to go along with 14 assists. Then yesterday, Zion got his turn against the Lakers and had a game-high 35 points, but came up short in the win column. So, Shannon, after what you saw over the weekend, who is winning Rookie of the Year, Ja or Zion? Ja, Ja, Ja. Mm. You know it. 27, 14, and 6 against the Lakers. In a win. They're in the eighth spot. How am I going to give this award to a man that's not going to even play 50% of the games? Patrick Ewing has the record. He was, def he, was uh, he was a rookie of the year playing 50 games. Zion is on pace if he plays every single game. From here out, we'll get 37. And we're going to give the guy a, a, a significant award for 37 games? If Zion, I think Zion, no, Ja has missed, I think, five games. And if he plays the rest of them, he will have had double the amount of games that Zion has played. Skip, they ain't got no business. Memphis got no business in the eighth spot. Mm. He got them there. 17 and 7 on the season. If there was no rookie that was outstanding, take Zion, take Ja out of the equation. Then you might have a, you might have a legitimate argument because there's really no one else. There's some guys that's having some, uh, I think, none. Pascal. I mean, there's some guy that's doing okay, Skip. But Ja got this. Now, maybe we'd have a different debate if Zion had started the season playing. Maybe we have a different debate. Who knows? Maybe yeah. New Orleans is an eight spot. Who knows seven? But right now, yeah, man, you, you, but, yeah, but stop playing. Mm. Go on and take that trophy up there, FedEx. Mm. That's what FedEx hub is. Deliver that man his trophy. Mm. Ja! Mm. So, I've told you from the start, I love Jaw, but I love Zion a whole lot more. And he just keeps going higher and higher in my estimation because he is doing things we have never, ever seen before. He is going to be so much better and more valuable than Jaw is. And to me, he's already on pace to win this year's Rookie of the Not Year happening. because this has never happened before. He's played 15 games and already has broken Carmelo's rookie streak of nine games of 20-plus points. He's done 11 straight games with 20-plus. Who's rookie of the year, Carmelo's year? I don't know. I don't you really don't care. know? I don't, I don't really care. Oh, go! Okay. So that has absolutely nothing to do with what we're talking nothing. about You right got to play, Skip! So right now, Zion Williamson is averaging 24 points in 29 minutes which is by far the highest this season. But guess what? It's the highest since 1951. Hmm. Think about that. 24 points in 29 minutes he is averaging. So he's playing low minutes, high points, and they just keep climbing up because now he's got three 30-plus games, right. including the one last night. So nobody since 1951 has averaged 24 points in 29 minutes, that few of minutes. And you're telling me that's not rookie of the year kind no, of arc? No, not with 15 games. And, and Absolutely here, not. And, and here's what kills me about this. I'm watching the game last night, and it is driving me as crazy in a different way than it was driving you about your Lakers and the way they play. <laughs> because I was rooting for the Pelicans, and would you believe the Pelicans run almost no plays for Zion Williamson? It's like... Coach Krzyzewski last year, I kept saying, yeah. I don't care about R.J. Barrett. Give the ball to that guy. Okay, what, what do you want to run play? They give it to him. They, they post him up. He got quick step, and he goes no. to the basket. What's the Did what they play? ever set a weak side screen and let him slip off and flash into the lane and bounce past it to him where he's on the move? No. He goes and camps occasionally, and Zoe just lobs it into him into right. a congested double team. Yeah. And, and he's supposed to just, like, try to operate against two guys, and he usually pulls it off. Skip, but here's the thing. Skip, he's only played 15 games, and he only started practice recently. So it's not like they okay. can run. They, they can do everything okay. with you him. You want to talk about the biggest liability this kid has right now? His name is Brandon Ingram. And the worst thing that happened to the Pelicans in Zion Williamson's emergence was B.I. made the all-star team. And B.I. is trying to live up to his all-star caliber performance every night with Zion. Remember, we did this topic last yes. week where he took a, what sounded like a little shot at Zion. You're the GOAT. 
right? Because the media is camped yeah. around Zion's mm -hmm. locker. Yeah. I think that was a little sarcastic and a little bit resentful because the B.I. that I saw last night, did you, did you five see? Five of 23. Five of 23? One so of nine. He, he, he took three. one of nine. He took 23 shots. Zion took 16 shots. Uh, he scored 15, and Zion scored 35. Aha! Uh -huh. We talked about this. Okay, what's that, what's B.I. going to be when Zion gets there now? Remember when Magic was pushing B.I.? Come out of your shell, man. You yeah. got you to gotta go. Right. Green light it. Right. To have some, show some aggression. Well, now that's all he shows because half the time I'm watching Zion because I just keep my eyes on Zion. He's just standing with his hands on his hips watching B.I. go solo and throw up some wild shot at the clock. That's what kept happening all night last night. Well, the other skip now, now last Tuesday, give Zion, give a uh, bi credit. He had the quietest 34 in history. Okay. We didn't know he had played that well, and you looked at him like, bi had 34 points. It's gonna be very interesting because he needs the ball. Zion, Zion is not gonna be camped out by the three point line, skip. So there's not a whole lot of space. Now, I would like to see these two young men stay together, but they're gonna have to make a decision. Okay. Bi's need a contract. Okay. And what did Zion do quietly, very impressively last night? Because you, you doubted him yeah. from the free throw line. He made 11 of 13. It, again, LeBron had a big fourth quarter. Not, I'm not talking about closing the game because they stayed relatively ahead the whole fourth quarter. But LeBron scored 13 in the fourth. Zion scored 12. Mm -hmm. I keep telling you, he's closing for them. The plus minus with him on the floor is extraordinarily Tilted to Zion. He was minus, all I know is B.I. was plus four. Zion was minus ten. Yeah. Mm. Well, if you look at the year, they've been way better with Zion on the floor. And unfortunately, last night, he, he scored so quietly, like 12 to 16. He, he gets them by accident. He, he just he happens to be around, loose ball, rebounds, slam it back. But, Skip, right? you talk about he scored 12. See, not only do we get our points, we get 13, but we make sure everybody eats. See, it ain't no good for me. If I got this big old harvest, if I don't offer Jenny any, here, cool, get that one. Avery Bradley, take that. Can you imagine? They don't run many plays for him, and he scores 35. Do you know what would happen if you could figure out how to feature him more? And, and again, you can do it in lower minutes. Just get him a few more shots than 16 shots. It's hard, though, when Brandon Ingram, because as soon as the ball, <laughs> he, is, he is Kuzma times two. If the ball touches B.I.'s hands, it is going up. Okay, can I trade you, can I trade you Kyle Kuzma right now for B.I.? No. Okay. No. I won't do that deal. But the, the point is, Zion's doing this trying to carry that weight around his neck. You know, like he's, he's got, he, he's trying to, to lift up Brandon Ingram to the rim too. Well, I like Bi's game. Yeah. Now yeah. it's gonna be interesting, Skip. I mean, they're gonna have to they're gonna have to coexist. Skip, you can't look. You can't just keep trading players away from from New Orleans, Skip. Okay, I think everybody should be happy with the Anthony Davis move. Okay. Everybody should be happy. You got Zion, you got Bi, you got Lonzo, you got. I Josh. think they're very. I good. love Lonzo and Lonzo in this offense. Lonzo looks good. 19, 9, and 9. Now, his three-point ball wasn't going last night. Nope. But everything else, it was hey, great. Nobody's faster with the basketball. Nobody's faster. Nothing. And to your point, he was running through your, yeah. through your guys. What kind of bull job is but, that? He can fly up the floor because he's long. And... But Oja, you saw Oja dunking. Okay, but LeBron told you all you needed to know. Did LeBron show up Saturday night at Memphis? Yeah. He did not show Nobody up. Nobody else showed up. Okay. <laughs> We almost had a triple dub. They, didn't, right. they didn't take oh. Memphis seriously. Memphis had lost, what, five in a row? Yeah. Okay. Hold on. Is it Mardi Gras still going on? Is it? I don't know. Oh, Miss Triple Dub with the Mardi Gras. She showed up with the mask. Oh, you, Kim, you ain't tell me Miss Triple it? Dub was down there for Mardi Gras. I'll tell you, he showed up. LeBron showed up for Zion. No, he didn't. He showed up for. He showed you who he thinks the MVP yeah, is. Yeah, that's fair. Right? We already know who the MVP point. is. Yeah. yeah. That's a lot of into it. It's Lent. What O'Brien giving up? I tell you what, he ain't giving up them triple dubs. Really? Yeah, he's ain't giving up a lot for me. I Lynn. wish he'd give up those six turnovers. <laughs> yeah, well, there you go right there. Well, Hold six. on. Does Zion have six turnovers? Yeah, six. Okay, then. How yeah. many assists does Zion have? One guy's have? 19 and one guy's 35. M one Help guy, me out. One guy ran a team at 19. Mm. Mm. One guy ran a team at 19, yeah, Jenny. Ran one. the whole team. You know, one guy's showing you he's going to lead this league <laughs> in will scoring. Be. Am will I right? Be LeBron already did that. Yeah, well, Been there, done that. I might be doing it a lot. Hey, 